Hello everyone, welcome to another what I eat in a day video. Now this one is quite different from the last one that I posted which was in the Baja California state of Mexico because it was like 37 degrees Celsius every day there. So now I'm in the south of Mexico in the mountains in San Cristobal de las Casas in the Chiapas state and it's much colder we have like 20 degree temperatures and at night it can be three degrees celsius so it is quite cold especially inside the apartment that we have um, so when i wake up i'm a little bit cold you know so um, i usually start with a tea in the morning green tea is my favorite and then since it's so cold i had this oatmeal that i cooked with some blackberries and it made it this beautiful purple pink color and then i added some shredded coconut some mango which i've been doing these days it's so heavenly so good i usually add bananas but i decided just to keep it like this because the mango was pretty huge <laughs> the one that i had that morning so and then lunch lunch was amazing okay so that day we actually bought some korean dumplings uh it's called mandu mandus and um they have some like vegetables and tofu inside and it comes with a sauce it's like a soy sauce infused with ginger and garlic oh my god it is so good so we had that uh, we bought it pre-made from a completely vegan takeout shop here in San Cristobal. Everything is vegan. They have desserts, they have like cheese, they even have like chicken wings. They have Chinese and Korean dumplings. So, so many things, lasagna, muffins, cookies, chocolate. And the owners are Korean. With the mandus, we had some steamed broccoli. It was just cooked with a little bit of water. I also made a massaged cabbage salad, a red cabbage salad. This is one of my favorite things to do. It's almost like you're making sauerkraut, but you just don't massage it fully and of course you don't ferment it. So I finally chopped the cabbage. Green or red cabbage works fine. And then I add some sea salt. I also like adding a bit of olive oil and lime juice. So then I just massaged it for about five minutes with my hands juice comes out of the cabbage and uh, it becomes very softened and like the salt goes into the cabbage and oh my god it's just amazing just try it it's so easy uh, it's just cabbage salt lime olive oil and you massage it for five minutes and there you go you have one of the best tasting dishes ever after that uh, i had some chocolate so i bought this artisanal chocolate from here, from San Cristobal. Uh, it was a dark chocolate with sesame seed. And uh, so I'm going to be honest, it didn't have sugar, but they did tell me it's sweetened with honey. So you probably know I am, you know, mainly vegan, but I guess that makes me not 100% vegan. I'm still in the transition. I still very occasionally have honey and uh, I use a lip balm that has beeswax in it and my sunscreen also has beeswax in it so that I, I think that's the hardest thing for me right now because I've been vegan for like three years but I guess I wasn't really vegan because you know I guess I'm more plant-based this has been my favorite snack since I've been in Mexico and it's um, this mixture of ripe mango and unripe green crunchy mango and I love how they cut it like big chunks of mango and they add lime salt and chili powder and yes it's absolutely delicious if you've never had green mango try to find a very unripe mango at home and maybe try try to make it but it has to be completely green and very hard like rock hard so finally for dinner we had some handmade corn tortillas these are the best that i've ever had we were in a uh, tzotzil mayan uh, village close to here and uh there were some ladies that were making them by hand so you know pressing them with the the tortilla press and cooking the tortilla on a sort of you know like flat oven with fire beneath it it was so good it's like a bright yellow color and the taste the flavor comes through very very strong which i absolutely love i love corn um, tortillas we had some guacamole and a mixture of vegetables like these mushrooms which they call setas here i think it's oyster mushrooms some red bell pepper 
purple onion and zucchini and we also had some chipotle sauce which i love i think it's one of my favorite sauces i love chipotle habanero which has a unique flavor that i'm obsessed with and uh, I love jalapeno as well. And on top of that, I add some nutritional yeast, which is amazing for B12, and some of this pepita powder. So if you don't know what pepita is, it's kind of, it looks like a pumpkin seed and it tastes absolutely amazing. It doesn't taste exactly like pumpkin seeds, but it's very similar and it adds such a savory, delectable flavor to any dish. And if you didn't know, pumpkin seeds are the highest iron source of all the plant-based foods. So you see I have like a balanced, pretty healthy diet. I don't obsess over, um, you know, some imperfections. All right, that's it. That was my what I eat in a day video for while I was in South Mexico, Chiapas state. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope maybe it gave you some inspiration for making your own meals and subscribe become a part of this holistic maya family thank you so much for your support please comment below tell me like the typical things that you eat during the day i love getting new ideas and i i just i don't know i always find it interesting to know what other people are eating and um yes i'll see you next time bye